Hello everyone, it's Kelly here. Welcome to my channel if this is your first time. Welcome back if you've been before. Lovely to have you either way on this channel. We talk books today. <laughs> I shouldn't actually be home today, um, but something happened to my back this morning while I was in the shower and um, I've just had like a little back twinge that was incredibly painful. So I should be at work today, but I'm actually home. Um, resting hopefully uh enough so that i'm okay to be back at work tomorrow um and for the rest of the week so uh it's currently tuesday uh what would it be the 7th 7th of may and um i thought given that i need to not do anything today because i don't want to aggravate my back um today's a perfect day to do lots of reading so i thought what i would do is just sort of see where the day takes us um in terms of my reading because i have quite a few books on the go at the moment i'm not even going to show you all the books i have on the go at the moment because i'm constantly just you know being like oh i'd like to read this now and then leaving behind all the books that <laughs> started before so there's there's probably at least another two books that I'm not even going to talk about today um, but these are the ones that I might sort of dip in and out of today I've already been reading this morning um, it's about half past ten and what I've been reading is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf um, so I'm up to page 86 and I'm sort of, I'm listening to an audiobook version um, read by Juliet Stevenson. It's really good. Um, and I'm following along in my copy of the text. So I'm enjoying, I don't know if it's, again, I, I always say this, enjoying might not be the right word, um, but I'm definitely into it. So I'm sort of, you know, enjoying the way that the, the characters are being are weaving together their stories because you're kind of like flicking from mind to mind with um with the characters in this book it's really interesting so um i'm i'm enjoying this so far i'm probably going to keep reading this one first um just because i'm sort of in the middle of it um so i've got it sped up too so I, tell me down in the comments i i'm keen to know the speeds at which people who listen to audiobooks listen to audiobooks because it's Juliet Stevenson and I love her voice and the way that she's reading, I've only sped her up to 1.2, but sometimes I can go 1.5. I don't understand how people can do like anything higher than that, but I know that they do. I know people can process what they're hearing <laughs> with those higher speeds. So anyway, I'm, a, I'm on 1.2 and with that, I've got three hours, 36 minutes left on the audiobook. So there is a possibility if I stick to this book that I might actually finish it today. We'll see because I've got, I've got the time and I can't be doing anything because I, <laughs> I went, I made myself a cup of tea earlier. I just, I did um, the dishes and then I went to put, the teapot full of sorry not the teapot the kettle full of water back into its its base and that twinged my back so it's like the weirdest things are making this thing twinge uh, I was clearing my nose like I'm blowing my nose and it twinged so like weird things are aggravating this this pain so I just need to be chill and not be like oh well I'm home maybe I could do this xyz no we're gonna sit we're going to read. We're going to rest my back. We're going to maybe even lie down. We'll see. We'll see how we do. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan. So anyway, we're going to probably keep reading this one first, but let me tell you what else I've got on the go because it's, it's a lot. Um, I just started this book, uh, his, a short history of tractors in Ukrainian by Marina Lewicka. I'm probably saying that surname wrong and I apologize if so. Um, I'm reading this one for my book club where we're reading books from around the world. This is obviously a book for the Ukraine. But, um, yeah, I started this one. I'm only, I've only read the first chapter of it, so I'm page 18 is where I'm up to. And I am already really enjoying it a lot. So 
I might dip into this one, although I'm sort of reluctant to go too far with this one while I've still got other stuff on the go that I really should be finishing. <laughs> so, um, but I, I'm drawn to keep reading this one. So we'll see how we go. Um, so that's another option. I'm still reading Western Lane by Chetna Maru, which is such a short book. So there's no reason why I should be not making progress on it. I'm currently about halfway through page 70. Um, so I could, again, potentially finish this one. It's only got 161 pages. So not quite halfway through, but yeah, like where I'm, I'm making good progress on this book, but I just am not that drawn to keep on going with it, but I do want to finish it. So I might dip into this one today just while I've got the time. So that's another option. Oh my God. I don't know if I can read this one today because it's too heavy and I might hurt myself. Maybe if I have it down on the table in front of me, it'll be okay. Now, despite the fact that in my last vlog, when I was on holidays and talking about this book, starting this book, I had said I was not going to pick up the audiobook of it. I have now picked, I am now doing the audiobook and it is a loan. I've gotten it out from the library. So I probably should, if I am going to keep reading this book, try to make some more progress on that while I've still got the audiobook of it, especially given that it just won the Stella Prize. Um, so I sort of feel like I should give it a go and keep going, but I am so not like, I don't know whether it's just the length of it or what the storytelling is not drawing me in. I'm not that interested in this book. Maybe I should DNF it, but given that it won the Stella, I don't know. <sighs> Is life too short to, to push through a book that you're not enjoying? I don't know. I'm st I'm, I, I don't know the answer to that question. So I'm still persisting with it for now. So that's praiseworthy. <laughs> um, and then the last one is a book I've got out from the library. It's the second time I've gotten it out from the library because I only got up to finished chapter 11, no, nine chapters of it. Um, and that's Doppelganger by Naomi Klein, a trip into the mirror world. And I'm, re I am really enjoying this one. So, um, yeah, I'm up to page 192. Um, and I am very interested in this. I've been intrigued by this book and enjoying the reading of it and then had to return it to the library, but I've gotten it out again. So those are the books that we are choosing from today. Um, and I probably would like to at least maybe read one chapter of, of Doppelganger because again, I will have to at some point return it to the library. So yeah, quite a few options today. That's five books. What do I do to myself? Okay, so uh, I think what we'll do to start is uh, I'm going to continue with Mrs. Dalloway. Maybe just read to the... It, there's no chapters in Mrs. Dalloway, but on the audiobook, um, which I've got here, I'm. It's it, they have obviously made chapters of it. So I'm in chapter three of the audiobook, and that has 57 minutes left. So I might just read to that point and then make a change change switch to something else let's see what we can get done today um, in terms of reading and I will bring you along for anything else that I do but I am planning to do just a lot of reading today and a lot of sitting down so that I don't hurt myself so let's continue with Mrs Dalloway her mind of her own, she must always be quoting Richard, as if one could know to a tittle what Richard thought by reading the morning post of a morning. These parties, for example, were all for him, or for her idea of him. Hello. Quick update. Um, so I've decided to order my lunch today. I'm getting a, a delivery. Um, I've been reading Mrs. Dalloway. I didn't quite get through the... Um, as much as I was planning to before lunch, but I am up to page 105. Um, there was a bit of a weird glitch on the audiobook, which I'm accessing through Everand, um, and it sort of repeated itself and then picked up. So there was like a passage missing. So I'm glad that I was 
reading along in my book because otherwise I would have completely missed a passage and just been really confused about what was going on. So, um, yeah, I'm, I am really getting into this book. Like, um, I'm particularly feeling very, um, I'm feeling some feelings <laughs> about the story of Septimus that's in the, that's in this book. Um, you know, who is a returned, um, a serviceman who has been clearly traumatized by the war and um you know we're, we're just sort of now talking basically about his PTSD and depression but like at a time when I guess those terms were not in use weren't weren't thought of yet um and you know he's got this doctor who's just kind of like blowing him off you know about it and just sort of saying oh, let's not scare our wife now, you know, all this kind of thing. And it's just, yeah, so um, sad, but, like, interesting as well at the same time. So, um, yeah, so I'm just waiting on my lunch. It should be being delivered shortly. It's not quite 12 o'clock yet. I ordered it early so that I would have it at an early time. <laughs> so it's saying at the moment, it's now coming up to 12 o'clock. So I'm, we're in the delivery window, so we shall see. Hopefully it'll be arriving soon. It's saying the courier is at the restaurant, so we shall see. Anyway, so yeah, that's where I'm up to with uh, Mrs. Dalloway. I'm, yeah, really, really getting into it, which is good. Um, I did sort of have a look. <laughs> I did open up the... Um, praiseworthy audiobook when I was having difficulty with the other ones and I was like oh, I, I just can't make myself do it right now so let's see how we feel after we've had some lunch um I, so yeah I don't have any foot I'm not going to have any footage of me preparing lunch because it's being or I've ordered it today I just don't know that yeah I don't know my back is still twinging a little bit um I'm trying to sort of get up and, and move a little bit because I don't want to be sitting down all day because I feel like that could potentially make things a little bit worse. So I am sort of standing up and moving around a bit um, as needed. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully just a day of rest is all I need and I can be back at work, but we'll see. Anyway, that's the update for now. I'll come back to you once I've had my lunch. It's after lunch. What time is it actually? It's a long way after lunch. It's half past two. Um, the sun's come out. It's been a bit of a rainy morning, so I thought I would come outside just for a little bit and get a little bit of sun. Um, I don't want to be inside all day. I've uh, read a little bit more of Mrs. Dalloway. But I've now picked up Western Lane, and I've read some of that as well. I'm now up to page 92, and I'm actually getting into it. <laughs> so um, I kind of feel compelled to kind of keep moving here. So that's what I'm going to do. Read Western Lane for a bit, and uh, I'll catch you again soon. some feelings about this. Um, I just finished chapter seven. Oh. It's so like, the writing is really understated, but it's really good. Very um, like spare, but honest. And I really like that. I've got one chapter to go, I think. I think. Maybe. This chapter is the last chapter. I think so. I just needed to... I just needed to take a moment. <laughs> okay. Am I crying? A little bit. <laughs> Holy moly. Expert. 
absolutely beautiful. And I can't believe I delayed, <laughs> I delayed finishing this book. I think the beginning of the book is quite bleak. Without giving any spoilers, it doesn't feel bleak at the end. It feels hopeful. And I love that. I love that so much. Holy moly. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I'm going to take a little processing time before I move on to reading something else. God, I'm glad I read that. I'm so glad. Apologies for the uh, dramatic lighting. <laughs> it is now getting dark. Um, literally, I came in after sitting outside to go to the bathroom. And while I was in the bathroom, it started to rain. And so then I, <laughs> I had to quickly go out and bring my chair in. And so, um, consequently, I've hurt my back again um, because of the the speed. So I think what has been keeping me from having the pain today has just been sitting still. So I am now going to sit still some more <laughs> um, and I'm going to get back to doing some reading. So I have decided the only appropriate direction to go after finishing Western Lane, which by the way I'm going to give five stars to, it was so good, um, is Doppelganger. Because I need to go to, I think, non-fiction now. <laughs> Rather than delving into another world for a bit. So, um, and I just, I can't even look at Praiseworthy right now. I just can't do it. So, doppelganger it is. What a day. Uh, so, uh, we've made some progress on a couple of the books today. Um, Doppelganger, I'm now up to page 231, so not quite through chapter 11. I read chapter 10, which was very interesting, um, and I definitely got a lot out of that. So, yeah, I'm keen to keep going on this, and um, I might keep reading shortly. Um, for the rest of the evening, maybe just at least to finish the chapter that I'm on. Um, but I need to wrap up now because my husband is about to start gaming with his friends on a chat. So um, we're, we're about to be at odds speaking wise. So made good progress on Doppelganger. Made good progress on Mrs. Dalloway earlier in the day. And finished a book, Western Lane by Chetna Maru. So all in all... Despite the fact that I've had sporadic bits of pain, I've been pretty good today <laughs> and pretty focused on getting my reading done, which has been good. I think just being, you know, stuck in it and not being able to move around so much and do other things because, you know, on a normal day that I was meant to be home, even if I'd been planning to do reading, I probably would have been peppering it with little chores and things around the house but knowing that if I were to do that I would probably aggravate my back <laughs> made me stay sitting and um, keep reading so that was pretty good all right thanks so much for watching everybody and I will catch you on the next one bye